What if the Earth stopped spinning for five seconds? In the 1951 movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still, an alien named Klaatu and his robot friend Gort used their advanced alien technology to stop almost all of the electronics on Earth at the same time. Cars, industries, television sets and other devices all stopped working, and the Earth comes to a halt. But what if the film's title was taken more literally? Consider an alien with an even more powerful instrument, capable of stopping Earth in its tracks and halting our planet's rotation. Even if it were only for five seconds, the day that the Earth stopped spinning would be a much more shocking reality than the original version of Hollywood. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. If you're new to our channel, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now buckle up for a trip through planet Earth. Hold on, because we're about to come to a standstill. Yes, the Earth will stop rotating for five seconds. How much of a problem would this unexpected stop cause? What would you face in different places in the world? Will the Earth still be habitable when it starts spinning again? Let's get answers to these crazy questions. The Earth makes one complete rotation on its axis in one day. This provides us with both day and night. The Earth spun because of collisions when the planet was forming 4.6 billion years ago. As the huge disk of gas and dust swirled around the Sun, dust and rock grains clumped together. This created forces that kept the planet spinning in one direction. There were almost no forces in space that could stop the planet. We are still rotating, and we will be for billions of years. Now imagine a figure skater spinning faster and faster. Would you fly right off if the Earth stopped on a dime? Even if the Earth came to a complete stop, the atmosphere would continue to move. That does not change the fact that even though everything has come to a halt, strong winds will continue to blow. And these wouldn't just be a strong breeze, they would be many times stronger than any storm you've seen. This is giving me chills already. The intensity of these winds would vary depending on where you were on the planet. The Earth rotates the quickest at or around the equator. Wind velocities of 1670 kilometers an hour would knock you off your feet. However, just put yourself aside. These winds are destructive enough to crack the surface of the planet, so it wouldn't matter if you were in an open field or inside a steel-reinforced building. You'd be wiped out by these winds for sure. For some background, the fastest F5 tornadoes can reach 511 kilometers per hour. In addition, these storms can lift houses off their foundations, send cars flying, and even destroy concrete structures. Winds from the Earth's emergency brake would be three times greater. You can imagine the magnitude that I'm trying to point out. So, if the crust under your feet didn't break, you and many other things would probably fly a long way but luckily not off the face of the Earth. The escape velocity, or the speed required to leave Earth's gravitational pull and enter space, is around 40,000 km per hour. Winds would be slightly weaker in other regions of the planet, such as New Zealand or France, but at 1180 km per hour, they would still be far greater than any storm ever. These winds would destroy almost everything, but they wouldn't be the only thing to watch out for in these five seconds. Our planet isn't a perfect sphere. Due to these centrifugal forces created by the planet's rotation, it bulges towards the equator. If the rotation ceased, the Earth would swiftly turn into a perfect sphere. All the water gathered at the equator would flow away toward the poles, resulting in a tremendous tsunami. The water would go back when the planet goes back to spinning at full speed five seconds later. Everything and everyone would get hit twice by a wall of water. That's quite a storm. Perhaps the only area you'd be safe in this scenario is near the North or South Poles. The breeze will be the gentlest there. You're probably glad to hear that the Earth is back to its regular rotation. But as I said before, nothing wouldn't be left on it. All farmland and technology would have been destroyed beyond repair. Billions of people, if not everyone on Earth, would die from the force of being hit by the huge gusts of wind. We take so many things for granted. Our teeth, our neighbor's Wi-Fi password, and even the existence of life on Earth. The three things I've just listed have nothing to do with each other, but that's not what I want to say. We shouldn't take these things for granted. 
Even the most minor things happening around us have a huge impact. If everything on our planet suddenly ceased moving, it may spell the extinction of life as we know it. If the Earth continuously rotates on its axis, decide to call it quits and cease spinning? What are we supposed to do then? So to survive the catastrophic situation, you should maybe start planning an underground bunker. The good news is that none of this will happen very soon. It won't happen for millions if not billions of years. That's a huge relief. Yes, and before that, the sun would reach the end of its life and transform into a giant red ball. But that's a story for another time. That being said, it teaches us an essential lesson. We should respect our calendars more and be grateful that this crazy globe keeps spinning into tomorrow. That concludes our video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. We'll be back with a new video very soon. Until then, stay tuned and take care.